on March 25th at local time. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said on a television program that sanctions against China over its relations with Russia were unnecessary and inappropriate at this time. She revealed that senior U.S. government officials were in private contact with the Chinese side to ensure they understood the U.S. position. Yellen also addressed economic issues, stressing that she disagrees with the notion that globalization is ending. Yellen made the remarks on CNBC's Squawk Box program. Commenting on the possibility of China being punished for its support of Russia, Yellen said the U.S. has no plans to sanction China because Beijing has not provided military support to Moscow. Before Sullivan met Yang Jiechi in Rome, rumors circulated that Russia asked China for military support. The U.S. wanted to exert pressure on China before the meeting between Sullivan and Tiger Yang. After the video summit between Biden and his Chinese counterpart, the U.S. and China toned down a little compared with before. Earlier this month, some U.S. lawmakers, administration officials, and the media repeatedly speculated about Russia's request for Chinese military assistance. The White House threatened that China would face severe consequences if it helped Russia evade sanctions. But at a media briefing on the 22nd, U.S. Presidential National Security Advisor Sullivan clarified that he had found no evidence of China supplying Russia with weaponry. After the NATO summit on March 24, 2022, Biden said that he did not want China to help Russia, but he stressed that it was not a threat, but simply a way to ensure that China understood the consequences of such a move. He also said at the press conference that China's economic future is more closely tied to the West than to Russia. In the interview with CNBC, Yellen also talked about ensuring the U.S. supply chain worsened by the Russia-Ukraine conflict. She said that despite the recent disruptions in the supply chain, she did not agree with the notion that the traditional global trade had come to an end. Yellen says the U.S. is deeply involved in the global economy, and she...